Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today's video will be another comparison video uh, between a natural colorless diamond, a colorless CNC moissanite, versus a actual, actually a really neat one, a light blue Soaring Hearts Amora gem. And we will compare it as a loose stone in both LED lighting, sunlight, and we will zoom in quite a bit to show you what it looks like, all right? So here we go. So let me go ahead and take it out uh, one at a time. Um, here's the GIA certified natural diamond, all right? Natural mine diamond. All right, so here we go. So here it is, so GIA, and if you can see here, uh, that's approximately a, um, 7.59 or 7.6 uh, millimeter diamond, about 1.72 carats. Uh, that's also an F color, which is within the colorless range, D, E, and F. It's a VS2 clarity with an excellent cut grade, excellent polish, excellent symmetry, and no fluorescence, okay? All right. And that's a GIA. And here is the diamond at 1.72 carats. I'll go ahead and take that out. That's the diamond. That's a natural diamond, natural mine diamond, uh, cut and faceted and graded by GIA as a colorless stone with an excellent cut, polish, and symmetry with no fluorescence. All right. Okay. Now the next stone that I will be taking out is the NAGL graded Amora gem by Better Than Diamond. So as mentioned earlier, um, well, let's take a look at the uh, diamond equivalent weight first. Uh, well, the millimeter size is approximately the same as that natural diamond that I just showed you from GIA. It's 7.65 millimeter to 7.79. Uh, the diamond equivalent weight is approximately 1.83. The actual weight is 1.66. Now, uh, if you're confused about the diamond equivalent weight and what an actual weight or diamond equivalent weight is, definitely check our diamond equivalent weight video out, uh, and it will better explain as to what that means, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Um, the clarity is a VVS1. The color is a fancy light blue. Now, um, it's not graded as a colorless stone only because uh, there's a very, 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 very slight hint of blue in the stone. Therefore, it's um, graded as a fancy light blue. Uh, but, um, you know, just by looking at it with the naked eye, it definitely looks like a colorless stone, okay? Uh, the cut grade is ideal. Uh, so in other words, it's, um, uh, it's very equivalent to the GIA certified diamond that I had just showed you, okay? All right, and with that said, here's the same stone with the same specs. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, package it. And here's the Amora gem. And there we go. All right, I'll put it right next to the GIA certified diamond, just so that you guys can see what that looks like next to each other. And I'll, uh, I'll definitely show a, a you know, closer shot in a bit, um, right after I take out the certified moissanite. So the last stone that I want to show is a certified moissanite by Charles and Kovar Forever One Colorless. All right, uh, it's also relatively the same size. It's about a 7.5 millimeter, which is approximately uh, about one and a half carats, diamond equivalent weight. Uh, if you take a look here, yeah, let me take out the, the, uh, the certification for you. All right. Um, so the color is a D. The clarity is a VVS1. Um, the carat weight, diamond equivalent weight, is about a 1.5. The actual weight is about a 1.29. The thing about 
moissanite certificates by PGGL is that there's this thing called the, um, uh, the brilliance image. In other words, it will measure uh, the optical properties of a gem, which is the brilliance, the sparkle, and the intensity. All right. Uh, for this specific stone, uh, the brilliance, the sparkle, and intensity are all excellent. The color and clarity are very good as well. It's a D color, which is the highest grade. It's a VVS1 clarity. The polish is excellent. Symmetry is also excellent uh, and without any fluorescence. Now, uh, some of you may be wondering where's the cut grade. Uh, the reason why moissanite does not have a cut grade is because it's not cut like that of a diamond. It's cut like a moissanite. So moissanite does not have a cut grade when comparing to that of how a diamond is graded. So let me take this out. Here's the same stone. All right. There you go. All right, guys. So if you take a look here uh, from left to right, on the left-hand side, this is the certified Moissanite by Charles Covar, the D color VVS1 that I had showed you earlier. Okay, this is a close up shot. Uh, the stone in the center is the Amora, the light blue. If you look really hard, you might be able to see a, a really slight tint of the light blue that I had mentioned, but nevertheless, it's pretty much colorless. It looks very similar to the rest. All right, it's relatively the same size, all three. Okay, all right, and that's the Amora gem. And the last stone here is a natural mine diamond. Um, that is an F color. All right, it's excellent cut. And here, let me tell you, um, so these stones, they all look relatively the same size. They're all relatively the, uh, the same color scale, okay? Uh, the difference in price is this. Now, if you take a look at this um, certified uh, moissanite, uh, the MSRP for this specific stone, is about a thousand and forty nine dollars um, and depending where you buy it uh, you could obviously buy for less uh, this certified stone is currently listed at eight hundred and thirty dollars this Amora gem here is is uh, a little bigger than uh, the stone next to it okay so it's going to be priced a little more but uh, it's still um, uh, relatively less than what a natural diamond would be, uh, or a lot less rather. It's at $1,196.73 to be exact. Okay. And then this natural diamond, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's a very high graded diamond, no fluorescence, excellent polish, excellent symmetry, and those type of things. So when you shop for a diamond, uh, make sure that you're comparing apples to apples, right? Uh, so this specific diamond is going to cost, uh, depending where you buy it, depending who the vendor is, uh, depending on the brand and those type of things, can cost you anywhere between fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. So this is what it looks like when you shine an LED light next to it. Okay, and all three are very sparkly, um, but as you can tell, the difference between Stone number one and two, which is the moissanite and the Amora, is, uh, it has a high refractive index, so you'll see um, a little more color when it comes to the sparkle. But nevertheless, all three stones are very, very nice. Just depending on uh, what you like, your preference, your taste, and those type of things. All right, guys, so uh, it's out here in California. It's approaching 6 p.m. Uh, the sun looks like it's about halfway down. We're right in the beginning of springtime. So um, that's the type of sunlight we have right now. And um, the one all the way on the left of your screen, uh, or that one, I'm hoping that's the left of your screen, but that one uh, is a moissanite, the D color VVS1. This one in the middle is the Amora. Okay, and you can still see that those arrows if you really take a look and look into it. Okay, so all Amoras that are being cut right now are going to have these hearts and arrows. And then this 
right here is the certified GIA certified um, diamond, natural diamond, an F color. All right, so there you go. Here's a close up shot from the top looking down. Hey guys, again, uh, we've been getting a lot of these types of requests for comparison videos. So if you like what you see, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. Let us know, give us some feedback as to what you want to see and we'll see what we can do to uh, do, that, you know, do the comparison videos for you, okay? Um, anyway, go ahead and reach out to us um, and we'll see you next time.